Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Classroom Champions Live, where we bring our athlete mentors directly into your living room. Thanks so much for joining us today. It is Creative Kids Thursday, which is absolutely one of my favorites. And we have Lucy and Haley back. So we have Lucy Yang, who is a junior at University of Pennsylvania. She is the shortstop and co-captain of the softball team. Good morning, Lucy. Thanks for joining us. And we're Haley Daniels as well, you guys. Haley is a white water slalom canoe athlete, and she's also the Canadian champion of that sport. So welcome, you guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. Awesome. So we are so excited to have everybody at home watching as well. Let's see who we have. We have Charlotte with us this morning. Good morning, Charlotte. We have Lori. Hi, Lori. Ollie and Izzy say good morning. Hi, Ollie and Izzy. As always, you guys, you can put your comments in the comment section. If you have questions for Haley and Lucy, you can ask those questions there as well. But Let's get rolling. Haley, how are you? How have you been? I know you're going to lead today's session. And what are we going to make today? Yeah, so I've been good. Um, I've been uh, definitely we're back on the water, which is kind of cool. So um, I'm really just loving being in my boat. And awesome. uh, so today we're going to draw a dream catcher. Uh, and I really love dream catchers just because you can dream and they catch your bad dreams. And I had a dream last night that I touched some concrete that was radioactive and I got radioactive poisoning. So I'm that into my, my dream and dream catcher and getting that away. So, <laughs> um, so. wonderful. Thank you, Haley. And I, I agree. I think dream catchers are the best. I think they're the coolest. So you're going to erase that one. Oh, but it's so pretty. <laughs> That's all right. You're going to make another one. So guys, I'm going to put a um, link in the comments here. So Haley, we can draw this on anything, right? You can draw it on a white piece of paper. You can draw it on the back of a cereal box. You can draw Lucy has black paper there. You can also draw it on a postcard. So I'm going to pop the postcard link back in the comments. And if you want to share it with friends, we've done the postcard activity before. You can pop this drawing right on that postcard and share it with your friends since we're all home and it's hard to stay in touch. I think a written postcard is nice. All right, Haley, show us what you're doing. And Lucy, you're going to join us as well, right? So my circle is not so perfect, but I think that original dream catchers, they took a stick and they put, put it around and applied it. So that's kind of what I'm going for is an original. <laughs> um, so you draw a circle first. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to do a dot in the middle. And then uh, the thing that keeps the stick together is just some waxy uh, type of string. So we're going to draw those strings and I'm going to put little beads on those strings as well. So just very random, but coming off of the thing there. I think the nice thing is that it's never perfect. Dream catchers are always different. So you can kind of get creative with that. Do one more. It's like a spider web. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to take a different color and make my little beads. So I put the beads usually at the knots. And they say that when you have extra knots in your dream catcher, that means they caught the dreams that night. Ooh, nice. So look for the knots. There's some different little... I'm also just going to color in the outside of my... Um, the outside of my dream catcher on the sides here. These are just a little thicker. And then coming off of the circle are usually feathers. So I'm going to get a different color. I'm going to go purple So I love purple. And I'm going to do the beads on the side here and then come off. And then there's just little things that hang off. And my feathers are gonna be blue. Let's go with blue. So blue, beautiful, Lucy. Yeah, I love the black. So the feathers can just be like whatever you, uh, what type of feather you want to do. But usually they're a little ruffled, and I almost think of it like a leaf. So you're just drawing it like little leaves. 
And these can be usually from birds that are in that area. There we go. Little feathers. <laughs> Ooh, Lucy, those are pretty too. We'll mm -hmm. keep popping back and forth between Haley and Lucy, you guys, and you're doing an awesome job. I love it. I'm a little behind you guys, but I'm making mine as well. Everybody at home, are you guys making your dream catcher also? We would love to see them. Yeah. yeah. I think dream catchers are really fun to draw because you can get creative each time and they can kind of be more cartoonistic or more not more realistic. Well, you guys know me, my drawing skills are pretty low, but I have learned so much from you guys over the last couple of weeks. And I love, I love that this dream catcher doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part about it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some nice beads off of the middle too. And I like going with blue beads. So Ooh. I were to think about beads like that. And I'm gonna put some nice big beads on top of my bottom there. Lori says that these are beautiful and I totally agree. Thanks, Lori. Yeah. I, think they're gorgeous. I think whenever you see a dream catcher, you think about dreaming, right? You think about what what are your dreams and what where do you want to be? And so I think that right now that's so prevalent, right? We want to dream and be able to do what we used to be able to do. Absolutely. So Haley, we were talking a little bit um, before the show about some upcoming upcoming dreams of, of both yours and Lucy's. So what what are you looking forward to the most in the next year or so? Lucy, why don't you go first? Lucy, what are you what are you looking Ooh. forward to? I think I'm most looking forward to getting back with all of my housemates and getting back together with all of my teammates, especially, you know, our season got cut a little short. So we're all missing that those long months together right now. So I think that's definitely something I'm looking forward to is getting all my teammates back together and hanging out with them. Totally. I'm just, yeah, I think missing socialization is definitely how I'm feeling as well. Yeah, totally. Those of you at home, what are you guys missing? Or what are you what are you dreaming of getting back to? <laughs> I am dreaming of getting back to hugging my friends as well, for sure. So like I said, I'm a little behind you guys, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting towards my feathers next. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm drawing a mini dream catcher on the bottom as well. Oh cute. So if you don't have the um, tools to make an actual dream catcher and hang, because usually they're hung above your bed, right? Mm -hmm. So instead you can put this uh, drawing of a dream catcher above your head to catch your dreams, catch oh, your good wow. dreams, catch your bad dreams, all of them, right? That's a nice idea. I like that. I'd love to do that. And I know, Haley, you've told us you've been sending pictures back and forth to friends, right? Yeah, and some of mine actually got returned, which was um, not cool. But I actually drew, last week I drew for Mother's Day, my mom, um, some whales. Um, and she loves mountains and a little cabin, so I drew her that. But gosh. yeah, it's been fun to still draw to my friends. Um, but it's been a little slower, I would say. <laughs> yes, um, absolutely. So we have Heather at home who's dreaming of getting back to the classroom with her students. Heather, I've heard that from so many of our amazing teachers. Ashley says the same. She wants to get back in the classroom with the kids. But I agree, we're gonna have to wait a little while. And I think you guys are doing such an amazing job of communicating with your kids at home through all of the different platforms. I know at Classroom Champions, we've been setting up our live chats, which has been so have been so fun. We've had athletes like Lucy and Haley on Zoom calls with all of the students at home across Canada and the US. Lori is also missing her family and friends, but movies and theaters. Oh my gosh, I agree. Oh, movies and theaters are missing that too. Lucy yeah. and Haley, those are so pretty. It's awesome. I think we're, I'm having fun with it. Lucy, yours is looking amazing. I love it. I love the darkness. 
Thank you. Thank you. I really went for a lot of colors. I think colors are always my favorite part of drawing. So totally. I really went for that big color bomb throughout with all the beads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the beads are, are beautiful. So good. Um, triangles for fun. Yep. Yeah. A little harder. I feel like I'm done. I don't know if okay. I want to. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Haley, I think it's gorgeous. Lucy, I love yours. I'm behind you guys. So I'm going to catch up. I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm going to catch up afterwards. Um, Charlotte, I Charlotte, I miss my friends too. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. So Haley and Lucy, um, you know, we've talked about this before, but anything else you guys are doing to stay in touch with your friends right now? I know, Haley, you were baking a while ago. Are you still baking? I'm still baking. I am. Um, I made some cookies, so these are my my latest Ooh. creation. Got some. Ooh. Oh, those look so good. All about mushrooms lately, so oh. mushrooms. But um, I've been like getting collecting mushrooms from around Alberta and then grinding them into um, a powder to put in cookies. So this was these are this is reishi and wow. this chaga. So those are chaga cookies. Um, that's really oh healthy. God. So. Yeah, that's kind of been my, my new project. Oh my gosh. Haley, um, I love having you on Thursdays, but we might have to bring you in for a Tasty Tuesday one of these days. That <laughs> is so cool. Um, Lucy, what about you? What else have you been doing to stay in touch with people? Um, I've actually been baking with my housemate too. We made walnut brownies last night, which are Ooh. so good. Brownies are, are like my weakness in life, my ultimate weakness. <laughs> um, I also have been just FaceTiming friends a lot and we have team zoom calls which are so much fun we all just hop on it's the 24 of us on a giant zoom call it's kind of a mess sometimes because everyone's talking because we're all so excited to see each other but that's kind of how we're all staying in touch especially since we're all spread across the country yeah absolutely so charlotte we miss our friends too but we're gonna find creative ways to get in touch with them okay you guys i would love to play a game and um, on Thursdays, we play Pictionary. So who wants to kick it off, Lucy or Haley? Lucy, go for it. All right, Lucy. All right, I have to switch boards here. Perfect. OK, you guys, so as always, put your guesses in the comments. We're not even going to give you a topic this week. We are just going to go for it. We're just going to draw whatever Lucy wants to draw to start with here. All righty. We're going to. I like the. Um, are those Apple stickers? Yes, I uh, decorate my whiteboard with all the fruit I eat just to <laughs> keep myself accountable, you know? You nice. Go. That's a good Tasty Tuesday treat as well. <laughs> oh, tasty okay. Tuesday trick, I should say. Okay, what do you think, you guys? What are we, what is Lucy drawing? Hmm. Oh, we have a guess. Ollie says football. Is it football, Lucy? It is football. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job, Ollie. And Norm, Norm also thinks it's football. Charlotte, football. Good guesses, you guys. Nice job. All right, Haley, you ready? Oh, I thought Lucy was leading, but I can. I can oh, oh. Sorry, I was going to go back and forth, but <laughs> let's have you do one, Haley, if you're good. <laughs> Ashley thinks it was the football helmet. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hmm. I put you on the spot. Now you have to think of one. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll go along. I like that. Okay. All right, guys. What do you think at home? Um, I think that's how I was going to guess traffic light, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, here we go. Charlotte, soccer ball. What do you think? Yeah. Soccer ball? All right. Nice work, Charlotte. Awesome. That's a tricky one. <laughs> there you oh, go. Wow. Nice. How do I draw a soccer ball? Is like, okay. <laughs> Izzy says soccer ball. Good guess, Izzy. All right, Lucy, you ready for one? I'm ready. Okay. So. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. What do you guys think at home? Channeling your inner Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiger Woods, exactly. Charlotte says golf. Good guess, yes. Charlotte. Lucy, is it golf? Absolutely golf. Okay. I'm pretty nice. sure you're supposed to hold a club with two hands, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably right, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, sport theme emerging. I like it. Yep. Haley, you got another one for us? I I do. Okay. 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 Wait, well, we'll get creative here. Oh, I gotta get my other color. Okay. Here we go. What do we have out of Haley? Let's see. Oh, Norm got even more specific with putting, which I agree because of the green. All right, Haley. <laughs> We're going. Can anyone get it? <laughs> oh, I see a waterfall out of Charlotte. All right, Charlotte, what is what is happening in this waterfall? <laughs> oh, we have a guess. Charlotte, canoeing. Yeah, canoeing and kayaking. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to make this even harder because... Haley and Lucy are really good at drawing. <gasps> and I am not. So let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, you guys ready? Ready. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Calabunga. Nice. Okay. <laughs> What do you guys think at home? What do you think? See, you don't have to be an amazing artist to do it, right? Well, Norm, Norm guessed canoe slalom for uh, Haley's last one. Charlotte, you got it, surfing! Woo! <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Whose turn is it, Lucy's? Yes. Ollie and Izzy got surfing as well. Good job, you guys. Oh my gosh, my marker's stuck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, what's this going to be? <laughs> oh, Norm thought shortboard surfing. Norm, Ooh. awesome guess. You're not going to see me on a shortboard, that's for sure. <laughs> You're going to see me on a longboard if you see me surfing. But shortboard surfing, um, yes, I oh. think with the steepness of those waves for sure. All right, what do we have, Lucy? I love it. <laughs> I think we're drawing about what we're missing. Oh, I know, we are. <laughs> Ollie says baseball. Norm says baseball. I think we're close on baseball. What, is it baseball, Lucy? It could be. Um, I was going for softball just because yep. it's my sport and I'm missing it. But baseball <laughs> is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. Perfect. All right. Good guesses, you guys. Nice work. All right. Well, we are just about, oh, we have a slow pitch. Slow pitch, slow pitch or fast pitch, Lucy? I play fast pitch. All right. So it could be either one, Norm. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. Haley and Lucy, thank you guys so much. This was such an awesome Creative Kids Thursday. I loved it. I'm going to throw our challenge up here. So you guys, everyone at home, we want you to create your own dream catcher. You can hang it above your bed or you can try it on a postcard. I, I put the link in the uh, chat up there so that you could see where we have our postcard activity. You can make your dream catcher on just about anything. You can either make it on a postcard and send it to friends. You can make it on the back of a cereal box. You can make it on cardboard. You can make it on, I just did the back of a piece of paper that I had been writing on. So whatever works for you and as many colors as possible, 
and send it to a friend if you want. Oh, my, my, my friend uh, made these as a publisher, so yeah. There you go. <laughs> I love the idea of sending sending your pictures off to friends and family. I think that's awesome. So, and as always, we would love to see them as well. So you can share them with us using hashtag Classroom Champions. Haley, Lucy, thanks again. We will see you guys next Thursday. Also, we'll be back tomorrow. We are going to have Juan Diego back tomorrow, and he is going to lead another Spanish Classroom Champions live. So join us back there for then. Bye. See you guys. See you guys.